Yes guys, what's going on? Welcome to Adam McCullough TV. This is the Weekly United, the place where we wrap up the week in the world of Manchester United and bring to you the latest news, transfer rumours, headlines, bits of gossip, all that good stuff. And this week, we start on a little bit of a sad note. Yes, I don't know about you guys, but sad for me, definitely. Wayne Rooney is now a football manager, which has had me sitting here thinking, damn, I am old. It feels like two years ago. Remember the name, Wayne Rooney. But now he's a manager. Now he is a manager. Not only are we seeing the likes of Solskjaer, you know, become managers, Zinedine Zidane, but Wayne Rooney, the wonder kid, the wonder boy, the greatest teenager we ever saw break through in English football. He's now a football manager. Damn, I feel old. Good luck to Wayne Rooney. I'm sure, you know, since he became caretaker manager and all that, we've all been keeping a close eye on their results. But now he's permanent manager. We'll all be doing that a little bit more. Go on, Waza. But anyway, let's get stuck into the latest Manchester United news and away from that bad news, which just tells us how old we are. And we've got so much to talk about today with the upcoming Liverpool game on the horizon. And remember, we'll have the preview up for that as well on this channel Saturday night. Make sure you're joining us for that. It will be a live preview. Um, but we'll be looking at Solskjaer's quotes ahead of the game. We'll be looking at Mark Clattenberg's quotes on Jurgen Klopp and of course refereeing decisions. Marcus Rashford is of course taking on Boris, taking on Jose Mourinho and winning Football Writers Awards this week as well. Marcus Rashford, take a bow. We'll be speaking about that. Amazing young man yet again. Paul Pogba quotes are back. Timothy Fosu Mensa has left. And Marcus Rojo, the latest on his future. So make sure you're keeping it locked to Adam McCola TV. Make sure you're hitting that like button, commenting, sharing and subscribing. Let's get stuck into the Weekly United. So not long ago now, from when we were recording this, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer had his press conference ahead of that game against Liverpool. Here's one of the quotes that come out of that. You are always excited to play against teams of that quality and that calibre. For us, form goes out of the window. When you go to Anfield, it is a big game for the players, for the fans, and I'm really looking forward to it. He also mentioned there, we go there as the hunters. Obviously, Liverpool being the champions, he says everybody would be shocked given their home record if we went there and won. But that is what is on the minds of Manchester United, going there and winning. Obviously, we know even a draw means we go out there three points ahead of Liverpool in the league race. But of course, that would mean Manchester City could possibly leapfrog us into first place. So it's a massive game here on the horizon at Anfield. And I'm just casting my mind back to three, four, five weeks ago when we obviously had, um, you know, we weren't in great form. We weren't doing too well, all that kind of thing. And we were thinking if we can get a couple of results our way, go to Anfield, get a win. We'll be like possibly two, four points behind them. Could we drag ourselves into a title race? Now we're going there, three points ahead of them. Nobody would have thunk that, nobody. We've done really well to get ourselves into a position to challenge, but it's still very early days. 21 games remaining for Manchester United in the Premier League. And if we can match Liverpool and City's results, we probably win the league, but long way to go. Fingers crossed. Huge game this weekend. I'm absolutely shitting myself. We've also heard Bruno Fernandes is yet again player of the month in the Premier League. Not just for Manchester United, in the Premier League. It is his fourth award since joining Manchester United last January. Has 12 months since he joined Manchester United. About three of those months didn't have any football. The guy is absolutely killing it. And look at this. He already has as many Player of the Month awards as Cristiano Ronaldo, Dennis Bergkamp, Thierry Henry, Frank Lampard, Paul Scholes, Alan Shearer and Jamie Vardy. Some Premier League vets right there. And Bruno Fernandes has already levelled up with them in terms of Player of the Month awards. Now, obviously, they don't mean anything in the grand scheme of things. They're not a trophy and... Bruno Fernandes is one of those players that consistently says, I want team trophies, not individual trophies. They mean nothing unless we get silverware. And you've got to agree with him. But that goes to show you just how fucking good he is. And you know what? In the last four weeks, I think he's kind of 
been a little bit below his usual level, which is remarkable because he's still the best player in the fucking Premier League. Incredible stuff from our Portuguese Magnifico. Congratulations to Bruno. This week, Mark Klattenberg. Remember in Klattenberg, leader, legend, has been speaking about Jurgen Klopp, who had been speaking about Manchester United and us getting penalties and them not getting penalties and us having more penalties and all this, that and the other. Liverpool have had more penalties than us in the Premier League. Stop being a hypocrite, says Mark Klattenberg. Jurgen, your guys dive too, speaking about the likes of Mo Salah, Sadio Mane, Roberto Firmino, who have been seen to have a tendency to have a little bit of a swan dive, especially the likes of Mo Salah. And he's saying, chill out. We know what Jurgen Klopp is doing. He's straight out of the Fergie playbook. And it's interesting. And they've riled the cages of Premier League fans all around the globe, that Mark Clattenberg also said Fergie's mind games did have an effect on some of the decisions that he was giving. He said, I gave three penalties against United um, under David Moyes. I never gave any under Fergie um, or something along those lines. And he said, obviously, Fergie had a big impact in that. Jurgen Klopp knows what he's doing. And it's probably a testament to Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and the players that were getting under his skin and were making them look out for us and think about us and talk about us in the press. It only shows you how important this game is because if Liverpool don't win it, you know, six points off us halfway through the league, it's not over, but it's not been a great start to the season for them, has it? So it's a massive, massive game on Sunday. Now, United players have had a good week individually and Marcus Rashford has continued that as he's won a Football Writers Award tribute award for his outstanding contribution to the national game and, of course, to the nation as well. The youngest player to receive that award and he's continued his fine work this week as Marcus Rashford with, obviously, attacking uh, Boris Johnson and the government over their free school meals campaign yet again. And after looking at some of the horrendous packages that were sent to families, he has continued his campaign to fix that issue which massively needs fixed in this country. And you've got to take your hats off to Marcus Rashford. Not only that, he assisted the goal, despite not playing amazingly well, he assisted the goal that sent Manchester United top of the league. And then he come out and he said, what's Jose talking about? He's the one who taught us how to be penalty savvy in the box. So Jose Mourinho has been speaking about United and the amount of penalties we have, same thing as Jurgen Klopp, has been talking um, about United's penalties. And Marcus Rashford has responded to that saying, well, Jose used to tell us to, to make it easier for the referee to give us a decision. We weren't going to get as many penalties unless we were more savvy in the box. Jose, look how it's come back to haunt you, bruv. Look how it's come back to haunt you. And maybe, just maybe, Jose, if you didn't park the bus when 1-0 up against Fulham at home and you were allowed Hungwin Son and Harry Kane and Ndombele and all these talents to run into the box, maybe, just maybe, you'd get a fucking penalty. Do you know what I mean? Why you don't watch us anymore, for God's sake? We're doing fine. We're doing fine. Paul Pogba, who had a winning performance, a match-winning performance for Manchester United against Burnley, and who has been in much better form recently, has also been speaking to Sky ahead of this Liverpool game. They're building this one up massively, aren't they? And he said it's going to be a tough game, but I don't think this game will decide the league. It will make a difference, but it won't decide the league. There will be a lot of games that will make a difference, and that will be very important. Um, and obviously, you know, this game, massively important. Momentum, the mentality shift if we were to win it, you know, the kind of marker you lay down if you were to win it. Remember Spurs going there when everyone was saying they were going to challenge for the league title, went there, lost. Liverpool kind of slapped them back down. Now Liverpool have the potential to be able to do that to United. So this one isn't, you know, by any stretch. But we've got a big opportunity. They're not going to be as weak as they are now, probably at any other point in the season in terms of playing Jordan Henderson possibly at centre-half and things like that. So it's a massive, massive opportunity for Manchester United. And whilst I don't think it will decide the league, it will play a part and it could be huge for Manchester United. If we were to win that, the mentality change in players would be huge. You know, the confidence they would get from that and take into the remainder of the season would be huge. So it's an interesting one. I do think the pressure's all on Liverpool though because even if they beat us, but they don't make a, you know, a statement win. We go out of there with level on points with them. I don't think we'll be that bothered by it because it's still a long way to go. The pressure is on them. 
because a draw for us, good result. A win for us, obviously, is an amazing result. And I think they have to perform. They have to perform, and we need to take advantage of that. If there's any doubts in their team, we need to take advantage of it. This week, Tim Bolt left Manchester United as well, joining Bayer Leverkusen for a fee rumoured to be around £1.8 million. Good luck to Tim Bolt. Going to miss him. A shame he didn't get the opportunities due to injury. Maybe, you know, not the best of low moves, those kind of things. But um, he's got a big permanent move here, and hopefully he can go out to Germany do really well. I think he will, you know. I think if he can keep himself fit, he'll do well for Bayer Leverkusen and we probably won't be won't be long till we're speaking about him moving on elsewhere and for a little bit of dash. So hopefully United have put a percentage in there for us when they sell him on. Talking about selling him on, someone that it looks like we can't sell on is Marcus Rojo and Sport Witness are saying uh, and covering reports in Mexico and in South America. The Man United player is seeking to terminate his contract with the club um, and you got Cruz Azul, I think, with a Mexican club that are quite close to possibly signing him. We heard Barca Juniors were in for him as well. Um, it looks like Manchester United might, you know, possibly get a mutual consent agreement, which would be, you know, if United don't have to pay his wages for the next six months or whatever it is left on his deal, probably be the best of both worlds. So I love Marcus Rojo. Incredible that he's never been sent off for Man United, which shows how good he is, but he just doesn't play. Um, and I think it would probably be great if we just said, right, you can go. We're happy seeing a bit, um, which could be happening soon. Right, there you have it, guys. That has been the Weekly United. Thank you for tuning in in the week where we got to see Ahmad Diallo training with the Manchester United first team. Bruno Fernandes, of course, getting another player of the month. Marcus Rashford taking on the government yet again, taking on Jose Mourinho and, of course, helping put Manchester United top of the league. And, of course, that huge game. I don't even know if I've already said this huge game. Oh, God. The preview is going to be up for it tomorrow. Make sure you check in that out. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Keep it locked to Adam McCullough TV. I'm out of here.